You have a letter, it would seem. Personal request, hmm? He's done a lot for us. We should see what he wants. Off to the junk heap, then. Hey there. Your weapon is ready to go. Great. Thanks. You know, with a weapon like that... You were going to say? I need to ask you for a favor. Oh, yeah? I want you to avenge my brother. That is a rather ponderous favor. It's my mission. It's the whole reason I've been creating these weapons for the past four years. I don't care about money. I only care about making a weapon strong enough to kill those bastards. Which bastards? The ones in the mountain. That little Shade and his robot. A Shade has joined forces with a robot? There's a Shade in there? Yes. <sighs> and what have we decided, hmm? We're gonna kill it. postponed his joy for the sake of his sibling. Do you think he was ever truly happy? Just making his... His little brother happy would have been enough. That's what being an older brother is like.
I've never heard of a shade living with a machine. What's that about? Don't know, don't care. All that matters is that we kill them both. entrance to our robot friend's hideout. Right. Let's head down. Are you mad? We've no idea what lies below. Beat's going the long way around. Come on. Transform?
together be be Machine! You killed my family! You took everything from me! Why did you have to be here? Why you? Why? <laughs> Beautiful. What a perfect example of humanity. Hey, come on. That's enough. It. Now that this goddamn thing is dead, I can forage wherever I want! Just wait, you goddamn freak! Now I can make all kinds of powerful weapons! Just leave it to me! Leave it all to me! <laughs> Look, we get it, okay? Hatred and madness will never heal a wounded heart. Maybe it's just all he's capable of right now. Revenge is a fool's errand. Yeah, I know. with the machine it appeared the creature was actually issuing orders to that mechanical minion do you think the shade had a reason for what it did actually <sighs> look it doesn't matter what a shade is or isn't thinking all that matters is that we kill every last one of them right sure the idea of a Shade trying to protect a robot is goddamn absurd. Still, you guys should be careful. What do you mean? If the Shade inside me ever takes over, I'm probably going to attack you. That's not gonna happen. You are no Shade. The lad is correct. You are many things, hussy. But a Shade is not one of them. Shades, for example, do not come equipped with such foul and scurrilous mouths. How about I cram your face up your own asshole, book? Don't worry, Kaine. If your shade ever takes over, I'll stop you. You will, will you? <sighs> Thanks, Emil. Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. This feels alarmingly familiar. Tah. I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time, hmm? Yeesh. I don't think I've ever seen fog this thick before. Huh? What's that?
Oh god, it's over. My life is over. What's wrong? Oh, hey, I remember you. You're the ones who helped us out way back when. Seeing as we've come all this way, I suppose we had best ask, what is the matter? I had a fight with my husband, and he ran away from home. Mm-hmm, yes, yes. You may color me utterly flabbergasted. But it's all that idiot's fault. I was saving up a bunch of apples, and he went and ate ten of them. That's... actually sort of impressive. Well, sure, I, I may have lost my temper a little, but... I can't believe he just up and left. He's been gone for a week now, and it's... <laughs> all right, all right. We'll help you find him. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you so much. And here we go again. Shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Hey there. I'm looking for the guy with the red bag. You seen him around lately? Really? Is that couple fighting again? Yeah, the guy took off and hasn't been seen since. I take it this isn't a surprise? Hardly. Their arguments are legendary. We're actually considering selling tickets as a tourist attraction. Anyway, I think he's from that village with the library? Maybe he went back home. I think his brother is a guard there or something. Thanks for the tip. I'll see what I can figure out. Hard to believe a ship of this size managed to run aground. Hmm, what was that? Hey, is someone there? Okay, I definitely heard someone cough just now. Maybe it's one of those kids from town? But where are they? doing here, kid? And who are you, anyway? Were you a passenger on this ship, maybe? <laughs> hey, it's okay. You don't need to be scared. <laughs> to think that couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in your step, you know? You humans truly are a maddening bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. Hey there. How you feeling? Well, your cough seems better at least. Check it out. I brought you some bread today. <laughs> oh, easy there. Jeez, you must have been starving. Well, look, no one's gonna take this from you, so just take it easy so you don't choke on it, okay? So, what were you doing on this boat, kid? Actually, scratch that. First things first. I can't just keep calling you kid. You got a name? This is going nowhere fast. Let's see. Hmm. Louise. 
Yeah, what about Louise? I mean, it just sort of popped into my head, but what do you think? <laughs> Guess you're okay with it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Louise. searched the southern plains back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. A lot's changed since then. So it's kind of nice when we find something that hasn't. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know. The hope, I guess. If you ask me, that particular couple could benefit from a little change. Oh, hey. It's you. What's up? You're related to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Yeah. He's my little brother. Haven't seen him in a while, though. A shame. Have you any idea where he may have absconded to? Not a clue. Like I said, I haven't seen him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh! But the last time I did see him, he said something about using his ferry to deliver letters. Maybe you should try talking to someone at the post office. I guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Just once, I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be sold in the general vicinity of the Asker. I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's all right to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. Hey there, Louise. Say, where'd you get that red bag? Hmm? Found it on the ship, did you? <laughs> you kids are so darn curious about everything. Anywho, it's good to see you. Afraid I don't have any bread today, but I did bring you something. Here, it's a ribbon. Let me tie it in your hair for you. Well, what do you think? Pretty nice, huh? Huh, what's that on the floor? Oh, it's a mirror. Well, that's a stroke of luck. Let's go ahead and check out your new look. If you go over there where it's brighter, you'll be able to see yourself more clearly. What's wrong? Don't you want to see? Oh, I see. You don't like sunlight. Guess your eyes are pretty sensitive after spending all this time in the dark, huh? <laughs> well, it's not like we can have you stay here forever. We should work on getting you out of here so you and me can go look at the sea together. How's that sound? Hey, Postman. Oh, sorry. You're not him. I'm sure as hell not. I just swung by to pick up a letter and wound up running the damn place. Anyway, you here for a package or something? Uh, no. There's this couple who's always fighting and the husband took off, so I'm trying to track him down. Ring any bells? <laughs> sorry, pal. You're asking the wrong guy. Still, that's pretty weird. My buddy's daughter took off too. Maybe running away is the cool thing to do now. I find it exceedingly unlikely this pair of runaways is mere coincidence. Any idea where she might have went? That is the question, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I bet she went to check out the huge shipwreck that drifted into the inlet the other day. Not often something like that comes around. It's all the kids have been talking about.